You asked for the cinnamon challenge, you got it. Let's go! I don't even need a spotlight, wait! Ah, count me down, bro! Three, two, one, go! Oh, it's so much cinnamon! Oh, why? Do it, bro, do it! I need to mix it. It's the worst milkshake. That's not the cinnamon challenge. You gotta put the spoon in your mouth. Let's get back to reality for a second. Some of these YouTube challenges are so dangerous. Lighting yourself up on fire, walking next to a moving car. Kiki, do you love me? But I'm more interested in talking about ones that you think are perfectly harmless, and they're not. 150 kabillion people have been asking me to, uh, uh, do the cinnamon challenge. I didn't ask her. What's so challenging about cinnamon? There's a lot challenging with cinnamon. Cin cinnamon? Cinnamon? So I had this, because I don't know how much you're supposed to take, so. She's gonna do a ladle you just take. Oh my God, this is so bad. All right, so here's the cinnamon, all right? All right, No way, go. she's eating a ladle. Oh my, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, no. <laughs> This can become a very big deal very quickly. The cinnamon blocks your salivary gland, so you have no lubrication. You can't swallow properly. Because it's so lightweight, it actually be can become aerosolized, and you can inhale the cinnamon droplets. If you get cinnamon into your lungs, that causes an inflammatory process because cinnamon is not supposed to be there. And when cinnamon is there, it can cause a condition known as pneumonia, which is an infection of the lungs, a pneumonitis, which is an inflammation of your lungs. These are serious conditions. 88% of phone calls in the first three months of 2012 to the nation's poison control centers were because of the cinnamon challenge. Don't aspirate cinnamon. Let me explain to you why eating a Tide Pod is so bad for you. This highly concentrated detergent that also at times has bleach in it can literally burn your digestive system, burn your esophagus, burn your stomach. And if you have a hole there, guess what? You're gonna need emergent surgery. It could also cause you to become lethargic, vomit, aspirate, which means inhale your vomit so it goes into your lungs, which can then cause a pneumonia. And here, here's something that can happen in some rare cases which people don't even think about. What happens when you mix detergent with fluid? You get a lot of foam, right? Well, guess what? When you bite into it and there's this considerable amount of foam and if you vomit and mixes with it, you have so much foam in your mouth that you may not be able to breathe. And when you aspirate this detergent, you're gonna get a chemical pneumonitis, which is an inflammation of your lungs, that's gonna be a life or death situation, all because of a dare. Between 2012 and 2013, every single day there was a child hospitalized as a result of these pod ingested injuries. Please do not put Tide Pods anywhere near your mouth. And if you have children at home, make sure the Tide Pods are stored somewhere very high up. I'm doing the condom challenge and I'm gonna stick this in my nose and bring it out of my mouth. Oh my no, it's not magic. Watch me, baby. I'm not making this up. I have a very strong gag reflex, and watching this, I'm telling you, I'm not that good of an actor. I'm tearing up right now. I feel like I'm not, I can't watch the video further, but I'm gonna explain to you why snorting a condom from your nose into your mouth is a really bad idea. A, it could trigger your gag reflex, like it's doing to me already and I'm just watching it. If you inhale something from your nose and it goes into your mouth and it triggers your gag reflex, you can start vomiting. And if you have something blocking your mouth, like the condom there, you can choke on your own vomit. There was actually an article of a case report from 2004 where a woman accidentally inhaled a condom and it got stuck, lodged inside of her lungs, which led her lung to collapse. How do you know that it's gonna come out your mouth? Oh my God, I'm gagging again. Can I just move on to the next one? <laughs> it's the latest phenomenon sweeping social media. Teens using shot glasses and bottles as suction devices 
for oh. do-it-yourself lip enhancement. Some end up with lips that are so swollen and bruised, it looks like they've been beaten. What people are doing is they're taking a small object that they can put suction into, and as a result, they're putting tremendous pressure in the blood vessels inside the lips. In fact, the reason the lips are a different color than the rest of your skin is because there's so much vascularity there, is because there's so many blood vessels there, and the skin is obviously a little bit thinner. This can lead to permanent scarring and disfigurement of their face. I'm not a person that says looks are everything, but if you have a scar on your face and you got it as a result of doing something stupid in your childhood, you're gonna be upset about that for a very long period of time. You can get likes and views in other ways. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Don't suck on shot bottles. Don't do it. <laughs> Today I'll be doing the salt and ice challenge and I, I didn't exactly know what it was so I looked it up on Yahoo Answers and apparently basically what happens is you get frostbite. Basically what happens is you put salt on your skin and then you put a piece of ice on top of that salt on your skin and that creates a combination that's even colder than the ice, essentially giving you frostbite on your skin, yes. It's the equivalent of lighting the lighter and then holding that metal part of the lighter onto your skin. Uh, keep it, keep it. I can't. Oh. Oh my gosh! Is that your skin? Yeah. Oh. That is where the ice cube was. That's called a burn. Looks like a third degree burn, but we can't tell yet. We need to see what happens here. It's weird though, like I can feel the skin around it, but then when I like rub over it, I can't feel that at all. Yeah, cause it's numb because of the ice, sir. In fact, when I do injections for people who are very sensitive, I spray them with some cold spray before putting the injection in which numbs them up and they don't feel the injection as much. You're gonna burn yourself. You're gonna possibly create an infection. You're gonna scar your skin. Why are you doing this? I don't know, but please don't do this. Don't do the salt and ice challenge. You've been warned. <laughs> How do you play? So you open a bag, well just open that one. Mm. And then you put a marshmallow in your mouth and you say chubby bunny. And then you do it again and again and again and okay. again until you can't do it anymore. Okay. Okay. There's no room. <laughs> Ew, you're medicine little. <laughs> You ready? <laughs> this is actually the most dangerous part about it. That's why I'm watching it. So like, because of the marshmallows on your mouth and you're laughing and you're trying to say chubby bunny, you can actually inhale one of these marshmallows. And if it gets into your windpipe, that's super dangerous because the marshmallow is so compact and it squeezes in, it can go into your windpipe. And as a result, be very difficult to get out. Like if you have a piece of chicken stuck in there and someone gives you Heimlich, it can pop right out. But because the marshmallow is soft and it gets sticky, it can get stuck there and you could suffocate as a result of the chubby bunny challenge. I got my blindfold here. I don't actually know what I'm doing. You're gonna eat baby food. <laughs> What? And you're gonna tell me what, what flavor. First of all, why do you have baby food? <laughs> How did you feel as a grown man who does not have children going to buy baby food? You sicko, is this how you pick up people in the supermarket? So what do I have to do? I have to guess? I have to guess what flavor this is? Yeah. Do I smell it? Ooh, it smells really good. All right, Bear, hold on. This is my challenge, Bear. This better be baby food, by the way. Is this apple? There's three fruits in there. There's three fruits in here? Yeah. Apple, peach, pineapple. Banana, orange, pineapple. It's not close at all. Okay, I'm ready for my next baby food. I need to cleanse my palate. Oh, this one smells gross. Who feeds this to babies? It's all veggies. There is no sugar in there. <laughs> Tastes like dirt. It literally tastes like dirt. Is this dirt? It's like a really bad potato. Turnip. Green beans? This tastes nothing like green beans. Dude, taste this. What? No, you cannot. I've had edamame before. Doesn't smell. Doesn't smell like anything. I feel like there's meat chunks in here. Cranberry and turkey. Sweet potato and chicken. I should have gotten the sweet potato. I feel bad for babies. I can't believe babies have to go through this. Oh, I know the smell. I'm gonna guess it without tasting it. See, this to me smells like green beans. Peas. Good, you got it. Yeah, <laughs> I got one. That one actually tastes good, I like peas. I'd mess with peas. This one's very meaty. <laughs> Is 
It's so ground up. It can be any meat. You could tell me this is bison and I'd believe you. Turkey. Beef? Beef and beef broth. Oh. They mess with baby food. They do something to it so it tastes different so the babies don't know. This doesn't smell that bad. And it's in a weird container. It's sweet, but also savory. <laughs> it's making me gag so hard. I got turkey and cranberry again, I don't know. This is not chicken noodle. Dude, taste this. This has no chicken, no noodle. No, you wouldn't have on what planet? No, it tastes like kind of death. Okay, well folks, that's how you do a YouTube challenge without hurting yourself. Maybe I hurt my ego a little bit. There's better ways to get clicks and views on your YouTube channel. Don't resort to this kind of nonsense that's gonna put your life in danger. Be smart, because all I want you to do is to stay happy and healthy. If you thought me eating all this baby food was gross, check out me and my nephew playing with slime and doing disgusting science. Click here for that bad boy.